I've seen quite a few exams where they ask students to prove the proportionality theorem. So it's a proof that I do want to go over with you. I'm not going to do it in detail because each textbook's different, each teacher's different, but I'm going to show you exactly how it works so that you understand it. Okay, so we know that in the proportionality theorem, we know that, for example, AB over BC, so that's this one divided by this one, is the same as this one divided by that one. Okay, we we know that. We've been using that for the past few lessons as long as these two lines are parallel. But we're going to now prove that, okay? So that's what we want to prove. Now this proof is going to require us to have a bit of an a bit of knowledge about areas of triangles. If you are struggling with the proof during that section, please would you watch the videos that I've added on area of triangle. It's also in this chapter, it's just before these videos. So don't skip any of that. Okay, so we want to start with, we're going to start by looking at these two. To get A, B and B, C, we're going to say, so this, there's going to be quite a lot of writing, so I'm going to try to keep it as neat as possible, but we're going to say area of A, B, D divided by the area of, okay, now we need to get B, C. So what we do to form a triangle that has B, C, because at the moment B, C is not part of any triangle, but if we do this, and this is where your textbook, sorry, that's meant to go up to D. So your textbook might talk about a construction or something like that. So we're just going to go, I'm just going to use a green line, and we're just going to do that. Now we have a triangle. So we can say triangle B, C, D. Now we want to look at what that is going to equal. So we're working in this triangle over here, and this triangle over here. Now we said in previous lessons, and I really hope you have watched those videos about areas, is two triangles in, gr in this grade 12 section, they're either going to have the same angle or they're going to have the same height. Now we could clearly see that they're not going to have the same angle, but they do have a common base, or well, not a common base, but they lie on the same baseline. We can see that AB is on that line and BC is on the same line. So the common base is this length over here. So that rainbow line over there, we'll use that as the base for both of the triangles. I don't mean that the length of the rainbow line is going to be used, but that's where the starting point will be, somewhere on that line for both triangles. Now, these two, tr two triangles are going to have the same height, because we can see that they're both meeting each other up here. So their common height has to go from this point and it has to hit the baseline at 90 degrees. So that's going to be this over here. So look here, perfect, 90 degrees, and we'll just call that H. So for the area of ABD, which is the pink one, it's going to be half of its base. Now its base is AB and its perpendicular height is H. For the green triangle, it's going to be a half and its base length is BC but it also has the same height, h. But Kevin, that height doesn't even touch the green triangle. Yes, guys, I know, but I have added videos before this which explains this. Uh, what's happening here. That green triangle, I know that it looks something like that. But remember we said that this here is not the common height, or it's not the height of that triangle because this angle is not 90 degrees. So what we do is we have something like this happening where those two are 90 degrees and that's this line over here. So your common height or your height of your triangle does not have to touch the triangle, okay? So what happens now is that these two halves cancel, the H's cancel, and so we can say that the area of ABD over BCD is simply going to be equal to AB over BC. Okay, and we will have to remember that for a little bit later. Now the next thing we need to look at is AD over DE. So we're going to do that with areas as well. The problem is though, is that DE is not part of a triangle. So what we're going to have to do once again is something like this. We're going to go from E 
up to B. At least now we have formed a triangle that has AD, which is this triangle over here, and then DE, which is this triangle over here. We'll start off again by saying area of triangle ABD over the area of triangle BDE. That's the ratio that we are going to try work out. And so we can say that that's going to be equal to. Now, are those, do those two tr triangles, do they share a common height or a common angle? Well, they definitely don't share a common angle, but they are going to then share a common height. We can see that both of them have their base somewhere along the following line, but their heights will be the same. Would you agree that because both of those points meet at, well, both those triangles meet at B, that is where their common height is. So to find what that common height would be, you would go from this letter B perpendicular to the rainbow line. So that would be something like this. So that would be over there. I'm just going to call that K, because I think in the previous one we called it H. Well, we called the, the height of the previous two triangles H, so I'm just going to call this one K. Your textbook probably says H1 and H2, or something like that. So for the area of triangle ABD, we're going to say a half. Its base, base length is AD, and its height is K. For the area of triangle BDE, which is the green one, that's going to be a half. Its base length is DE, but its common height is also K. So the Ks would cancel, the halves would cancel, and so we end up with the area of ABD over the area of BDE. I'm just going to write the answer up here. That's going to be equal to AD over DE. So now we have these two important answers. We've got this one and we've got this one. Is there anything common in both of those? Well, yes. They both have area of ABD. So we're going to form some type of, not really a simul, it's almost like a simultaneous equation. So what I'm going to do, and you can do this any way you like, but I'm going to take, so I'm going to call this number one and I'll call this one number two. I'm going to take number one's equation and rearrange it so that the area of triangle ABD is by itself. So what that would give me is that the area of triangle ABD is going to be equal to AB over BC times by area of BCD, because I'm taking that to that side. So that's going to be area, I've just moved it down to the bottom here, of triangle BCD. So all I did was I took that equation and I just got area of BCD I mean ABD by itself. I'm now going to do the same with this one over here. So I'm going to say area of triangle ABD. That's going to be equal to AD over DE times by the area of BDE. So all I did was I got this part by itself by taking this up to the top. So now I've got two equations where I've got area of ABD and area of ABD that are the same. So I can make these other two halves, so this half and this half, I can make them equal to each other. So that's going to give me this expression over here. And then what we can see is that area of BCD, which is this triangle over here, which we had earlier, and the area of BDE, which is this one over here, are going to have the exact same area. The reason for that is the following. We said that in grade 12 we must always look for a common angle or a common height. Well, these two triangles are going to have a common height. We can see that they go, they both go in between these two parallel lines, so they both fit in between two parallel lines, so their height is the same. Their base is also the same. Look, their bases both come off BD. So if you still don't believe me, we could say the area of triangle BDE, well that's going to be equal to a half times its base, which is BD, times by some common height, which I'm just going to call R, and that would be this length over there. I'm just going to go straight down, we'll call it R, and the area of triangle BDC 
is just going to be half times its base, which is also BD, but it has the same length um, height, which is R. So those cancel, those cancel, those cancel. Or what we can also just see is that they are the same. So if they are the same, then these two parts can be cancelled out. And look at what we are left with. We are left with AB over BC is equal to AD over DE and that is exactly what we were trying to prove. So please watch this video as many times as you need to until you grasp what we have said. Sometimes you won't understand it the first time but after at least the second, third time, yeah, second, possibly the third time, you will understand it.